Hi everybody, it is Baldrick Sotoff here, and today I'll be going over the Assault class in Battlefield 4 Beta. And I assume this is going to be the same in Battlefield 4 once it gets released. Hopefully it will be, but you never know guys. Uh, but anyway, let's start talking about what you can really do with this epic class. So first, uh, when you first spawn with it, you uh, start with an AK-12 with a uh, Cobra or Red Dot Sight or whatever you like to call it. And that comes with a 4 grip and a grenade launcher and you have to unlock stuff as you go on. So the AK-12 is perfect for long and short range. It doesn't do the most damage but it does kick ass when it comes to medium range, definitely. I've gotten some epic long shots with this gun, I've gotten some epic close range sprays with this gun. I wouldn't really recommend single fire or burst fire as you can just control your burst with fully automatic fire. It doesn't take that much skills to do that guys so uh, never take it off fully auto unless you're like really fussy about your firing because it doesn't even have much recoil, e recoil either uh, the bad thing is uh, it just at close range sometimes you get your ass kicked by the higher caliber guns like the SCAR H does kick ass at clo close range as long as you get some shots on but anyway uh Let's talk about the grenade launcher. Uh, the grenade launcher can either be an under, under barrel attachment or it can be like the gun you're seeing right here. Uh, it can kill tanks if they're already damaged, but if you do see a tank, guys, don't really bother trying to kill it with a grenade launcher unless it has been fired at by a helicopter and won't spot you. Because I've been killed numerous times by these stupid tanks that always kill me, so... It does get frustrating sometimes, and even with an RPG, I wouldn't really attempt it. But another cool thing about this class is it's like the medic class from Battlefield 3, because you can have a defibrillator, you can have health packs, and I don't think you can have, um, have ammo, but it is pretty cool how it can be used as a health class and, and an assault class at the same time, so I love that. I always carry around the defibrillator because it is fun to revive people sometimes isn't it guys and it does really help out your team having someone reviving people another thing about this class is that uh, your movability is uh, very good you can get in vehicles you can hop out of vehicles you can get in helicopters you can do everything guys it's really awesome and as you can see there, I did take out that tank with the, or whatever it was with the grenade launcher. That was really cool. I hardly ever get shots like that, so I decided to put it in my video, and that's what you see. Later on, you'll see some tank gameplay, and you don't need to be an engineer in Battlefield 4 to really harness the full power of an uh, armored vehicle. You can just hop in as a health person, just get on the gunner, and leave as soon as the tank starts getting destroyed. That's what I would recommend for this and also uh, if your buddies are getting killed just rev give them a good revive or if you if you if you're one of those people who uh, is solo this is also good because you can also have a health pack instead of a defibrillator later because you just throw the health pack down and it makes your health go up really fast so it's really awesome I wouldn't recommend solo play for this though because you'll just keep on getting flanked and everything and it becomes too hard and you'll get sniped pretty easily as uh, Siege of Sang Shanghai is perfect for camping uh, you just parachute onto the top of a building get out your machine gun sniper rifle uh, light machine gun you can stay there for the whole game you just need to be weary of helicopters they are a bitch anyway uh, you can see uh, the SCAR H it is a higher caliber gun I'm assuming because it's got a pretty big kick I won't be showing any other guns because I haven't gotten like past level 3 yet because it does take a while to level up level up I thought it was a bit quicker but obviously I'm wrong it does take a long time to level up and by the way even though it says open beta I do realize it is a closed beta and unfortunately you guys can't really play until like a week but until then, uh, it, it's not that bad that you guys can't play. I'm sure you can wait a bit. Otherwise, uh, you might want to try and look online for some codes that might give you access to it. Or you might want to buy the digital deluxe version, which I did. And I would probably get the digital deluxe version because 
you get like China Rising map pack and everything and also Battlefield Premium I'm not sure about that I'd rather just buy all the map packs in case they give out a really crappy one I might not like that I'm hopefully gonna cover every single map pack on Battlefield 4 hopefully I'll also have enough money to get all of them but that's another story for a different time so let's keep on talking about this class uh, if you're as a team this class works very well but as a single player it doesn't always work to your benefit if you're playing by yourself I would use the uh, light machine gun classes you can just cover your own ass with that gun and you can let it rip and you can hook it up to like a a wall and just mount it or something and you'll be alright by yourself but with this class it is more team based as it is basically the equivalent of the health class in Battlefield 3 or the medic class as people call it but instead I'm not sure why they decided to call it the assault class even though it comes default with a uh, med kit or whatever you call it that thing you throw down and it gives you health even though it comes default with that uh, I'd still say it's 50-50 assault and another 50% are health because that's basically all it is. I sort of made it exactly the same as the health. So if you're one of those guys who likes to get points for reviving, this is the class for you. Anyway guys, see you later. Have a nice day.